McNeil, when is this going to move out of here? Probably not until about uh, 8 o'clock uh, crash. That's what I'd give it, 8 o'clock. You can see that new rain still in the area. Uh, very widespread as well. The line of showers and thunderstorms has pushed through our area. Let me switch over to a live radar. You can see that line now well to the south and east of our area. In fact, east of uh, Putnam and Jasper County now, east of Edenton, you just had that heavy rain and thunderstorms move through your area. And now things are starting to settle down a little bit with some light rain, but some moderate rain will come your way as well. Athens, Al Alpharetta, over toward uh, Atlanta, even over to the west here, over toward Carrollton, Bremen, you have still some moderate rain coming down. But notice up here to the far northwest, notice that clearing taking place. That's going to be our trend as we head through the rest of the morning. So far, the heaviest rain has been up here to the uh, northwest, and so it's pushing the, we well, see this magenta color here, pushing the three inch range there, even some four inches uh, over to parts over toward the west. And then once you make your way down toward the city, anywhere between an inch, maybe an inch and a half in some spots further down to the south, you're going to continue to add up as that rain is continuing to push your way, but has been uh, about a half an inch so far. As far as your temperatures go, temperatures are starting off uh, in the upper 50s. We'll see them get up to about 64 degrees by noon. Well, partly to mostly sunny, mostly sunny skies will be the call, but temperatures will be falling after that down to 61 by 3 down to 47 degrees by 7 o'clock under clear skies going down to the 30s for overnight lows tonight as those winds begin to subside with no blanket of clouds over us that heat will escape out into the atmosphere, so it will be a cold night. Much of the severe weather has been down here to the south over southern portions of Mississippi into Alabama where we still have a tornado watch that continues that will likely begin to push uh, over toward our area as well into south Georgia. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has, still has a slight risk for severe weather for the central and southern portions of the state. There's the front there. Uh, what will continue to push to the to the east. There you are, we have it at level two threat, uh, which means that we'll still see that heavy, heavy, very heavy rain in the southern portions of the state and also damaging winds. Certainly possible tornado threat still very low, although we've seen a tornado warnings associated with this system as it was back off to the uh, west of us. Our forecast track model shows that line of showers continue to push further down to the south. We'll see the clouds in place at least through about 10 o'clock, but they'll start to break up as well. So the rest of the afternoon will feature sunshine, but it will be breezy sunshine as those winds out of the northwest will be anywhere between 10, 15 miles per hour. Gusts will be a little bit higher than that at times. We'll see it clear out tonight. We're going to start you off that way for your Thursday morning. Mostly sunny skies will be the call for much of the day. Some high thin clouds coming in by the afternoon. We'll start you off with the sun on Friday, but look for the clouds to increase once again. Very small threat for some rain. In fact, I think most of that will stay up to the north of us, but we'll keep it cloudy around here. And as we head into the weekend as well, the clouds stick around and the rain chance starts to go up on us. Cooler days ahead behind this front, folks. We got the wet weather around this morning and then we'll see those temperatures fall off. 35 degrees start on Thursday. We'll get up to 55 for the high. 36 on Friday. We'll get up to 57. Going to warm it up a little bit as we head into the weekend, but the clouds increase and so there's our chance for the rain. Right now it's low, a 20 to 30 percent chance both Saturday and Sunday, and that continues as we start the work week next week on Monday and Tuesday. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're back right after